everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to dig into the Adobe Illustrator graph tool and we are going to create this graph. This is a live graph. You can put uh, a real data here, but it looks very boring and uh, we are going to convert this graph into this great looking 3D infographic element here inside Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna show you how it works right now. So go to the file new I'm gonna size my document with 90, 20 and 10, 80 and click create. Here I want as always uh, uncheck this align art to pixel grid and increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them very very clearly. So 70 pixels is good uh, for my screen and then I want to grab all of these layers and paste it in my new artboard and lock, lock them on my layers. So I'm ready to start with our Pi Graph tool. Select it second from our bottom and click on your artboard and here in open dialog box I'm gonna size it with 600 pixels. So set the width to 600 and height to 600 pixels. Click OK. And uh, here I need to set a values. First of all I want to set 100 then switch the cell here all all my values should sit on one row so i want to change the column here then i want to set 80 here then i want to switch to the another cell and set 50 here and uh, last step i want to set uh, 20 here and i am ready to go i want to apply and this is completely a live graph, so you can uh, put another value, you can change these values and uh, this um, graph is uh, changed accordingly. So of course this is uh, not what I am looking for, because uh, this is uh, black and white uh, with shades of grey. And we need to expand it, but uh, regular expand option yes go to objects and expand doesn't work and what we need to do we need to go to object and ungroup shift ctrl g or shift command g on your mac and this do the magic for us so straight adobe illustrator uh wants us that uh, this is a live graph and uh, if you ungroup it this is uh, become a regular Adobe Illustrator object and this is actually what I want. I want to change colors, I want to resize it, rotate it and other stuff that I can do with regular uh, Illustrator objects. So click yes and uh, now I have a group. I want to ungroup all of them and I have a bunch of objects here actually on my last panel. I have uh, four empty objects and I want to delete them of course so click on trash can and delete this object then i want to grab all of them and rotate them holding shift key on 90 degrees to the left so now the the, the biggest part of my uh, composition on on the top sitting on the top and i want to grab my airdropper tool and recolor every piece of them every single Sector I want to recolor. So we have very bright, very nice colors, and we have this object. So what we're gonna do next? We need to go to ellipse tool or click L and hover in, uh, over the center. Let me scale the composition, and as you can see, Adobe Illustrator says this anchor point here, and this is what I want actually. If you can see the anchor here. You need to go to the uh, view and uh, turn your smart guides on. So grab your ellipse tool holding alt and shift key, alt or option key because you need to draw from the center and or shift key to constrain the proportions with width and height and draw a circle. Here now grab your selection tool and select all of them and as you can see this intersection we need to select this intersection with our 
shape builder tool so select this 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 and this piece and now i want to select this and to color it uh, select this and sample this color and select this and sample this from my parent uh, object and this from my parent object as well then i want to select all of these four pieces you can use your panel op uh, layer option uh, you can use your layer panel uh, for this uh, for this operation and then i want to click on this color wheel on my top and recolor my artwork and i want to recolor all of them switch the top and link harmony colors clicking on this uh, small icon here on my right and i want to decrease the brightness to around seven percent and increase the saturation to five percent and click ok so i have uh, changed my color and now i want to group all these pieces the small and large group this group this group this and select this small and this large and group them and i want to give every single piece its own layer so i want to create three more layers and i want to set this layer on top like so this piece on top layer i want to seed this piece through this on second from top and i want to seed this from on third from top so and this should sit on my bottom layer so i have my shapes on my own layer and i'm ready to go to 3d so go to effect 3d and uh, choose extrude and bevel and here we have a bunch of options we have a lot of options and first of all i want to check preview to see my live result and next i want to en enlarge the extrude depth so my uh, 3d shapes this become more thicker and then i want to xyz and i want to change the z axis i want to change y axis and i want to change my z axis to 50 degrees 50 0 0 here in my axis uh, extrude depth 350 points and uh, here on my surface options i want to choose diffuse shade and remember i in previous tutorials how to create cone infographic i promise you to explain you why i choose it and i decided to explain it in this infographic on this example with uh, diffuse shading so i uh, have my uh, final 3d shape and click ok i'm very happy with that and i'm gonna do the, the same operation with a slight changes so uh, go to the uh, effect extrude and bevel and here i have xyz on place i have a diffuse shading and what i need to do i want to decrease the extrude depth so now it's my shape it's not so tall and not so thick as you want uh, this sector is not so thick as, as that so click OK, do the same with the U green, dark green, go to extrude, change extrude depth to, to 200 points, click preview and click OK, then select this, go to effect, extrude and bevel and change the options to 120, uh, click OK and we are done and now I want to uh, use my arrow keys on my keyboard and make a little adjustment in placement of these sectors don't want to bother you with this uh, task so i want to make bigger so i make the changes and i'm happy with them and the next step we need to grab all of them so 
go to your select selection tool and select all of them and go to the object and expand it appearance so we have a, a groups now a groups of objects as you can see if i ungroup this right mouse button click and ungroup again i i have a bunch of stuff here on my last panel a lot of this and i want to clean up a little bit so i want to delete this the unnecessary stuff and i want to change the of course i want to change the colors so i want to set a gradient here and first i want to say select my roof of my and give it a gradient so fill gradient it's look not quite good and i want to double click on my black gradient tool and move my slider to around 25 percent gray uh, much better but maybe 30s yes 30s uh, looks better and then i want to i want to reverse my gradient so i want to change the direction of this gradient and maybe a little bit double click on this white gradient and a little bit make it a little bit less bright so i happy with this result i want to sample this color from here and here i want to change the direction so grab your gradient tool and uh, or click g and change the direction of your gradient now i have top to the bottom and i want to set the uh, my darkest color from here to the center drag on the slider and i want to duplicate uh, my lighter color and set it like this so we have this result and now i want to just um, sample the color from here so as uh, you can see my my uh, light source is uh, is around here so it's lighter this a little bit lighter and this all is darker and i want to do exactly the same with this shape so i want to ungroup clean up a little bit and uh, delete unnecessary stuff i want to delete this shape it's unnecessary this shape and this is one of the reason when i don't use a uh, plastic shading a diffuse shading when i plan to uh, color my artwork because um, this uh, produce a bunch of stuff that i don't need i don't need this um, let me release clipping mask i don't need so much details here and i need to release this mask then delete this stuff then uh, click on this mask uh, shape and uh, then i want to sample the color from here and uh, when you work in production and when you work with a lot of uh, shapes and layers it's produce unnecessary steps and it's very time consuming so i'm uh, stuck with the uh, solid colors without no shading in my 3d option so i want to sample this color and uh, and then make the same here and i want to hustle a little bit this tutorial because it's not a tutorial how to use the gradient panel it's all about the 3d infographic so i want to speed up a little bit
So I have recolored my artwork. I have give every piece of this uh, 3D object um, its own gradient, and now I am uh, ready to create pointers. And uh, this is the simplest part of our tutorials because I don't create it in to a simple 2D shapes. Let's start with the ellipse tool. Grab your ellipse and. Um, draw an ellipse holding shift and alt key then i want to select this color this orange color and i want to grab my dirk selection tool select this point all other points are hollow and this is filled and holding shift key drag this point to the bottom and then i want to grab my anchor point tool and click on this uh, point to get rid from the handles and here i have some pointer and uh, i want to create a two ellipses first ellipse i want to create here align them to the selection so i choose option align to selection and align them horizontally then I select this ellipse and sample the gradient from here and uh, I want to grab my um, gradient tool and uh, change the direction then I want to go to object path and here I want to offset my path so I want to create a smaller uh, circle and to create a smaller circle I want to set the negative 3 pixels uh, value of my offset so, click preview and click ok and then I want to go to my gradient panel and reverse the gradient. I want to uh, change the direction to opposite. We will uh, achieve this result. Next step I want to group them and uh, place it on my artboard and then I want to give every single point uh, its own color. So this is actually the end of this tutorial. You can download this uh, infographic ele element uh, for free visiting vitorials.net. I supply you with link in the description. If you like this tutorial, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and uh, thumb up. Thank you for following to the end. I will come back to you very soon. Have a nice day.